I might eat lots and I might be fat, but that's okay. No one cares about that, cause I cook great and it always smells good. Do, 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 do. Oh, every week I've got a new guest. You can call in if you got a request. I always have a new recipe. Picture you on the show with me. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's time to get on to the show. Make some pastries and roll the dough. One, two, three, here we go! Do, 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 do. Whoa! Hello, and welcome. Thanks for tuning in to Henry's Cookbook, where my food looks better than your tummy. And today we're going to be cooking some delicious omelets that I would have to say are one of my most tasty breakfast choices. <laughs> my special guest that will be joining us today and tasting my homemade delicious Mexican omelets is Eliza Cup. Here she is, folks. Morning, San Diego. I'm Eliza, as you all have heard. You might all know me from the Lord of the Sims or Sims Almighty. I'm here to not only eat today, but to hopefully learn some amazing recipes. All right, let's get to it. First, let's get some eggs and some other spices. So to start, we're just going to make sure that all the ingredients are mixed together. So, Eliza, as you can see, I've added all of my dry herbs and spices to my eggs and put it in a pot so I can cook it on high for 10 minutes. Now, for the finishing touches, Eliza can come over and taste my mess. Mmm, mmm, this is delish. May I ask what uh, spices and herbs you added? Um, well, I used a little bit of zesty Italian hot sauce, Mexican green peppers, the usual salt and pepper, and some roasted chili flakes. Oh, wow, that is amazing. How much you know about cooking. I just, I can't wait to get home and start cooking now. Well, that concludes the show. Thanks a lot for coming, Eliza, and come back next time on Henry's Cooking Show. Do 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 woo hoo!